Okay, let's do a quick review. We're going to be talking about what are called helper functions, but before we do that, we want to do a quick review on what a function is, right? So generally speaking, what a function was was a bit of code that we would uh, we would write. Okay, it can be several lines, right? And that code is going to run uh, when we call it, right? So this is the type of code that we would typically want to run more than one time, and instead of having to repeatedly copy and paste the code, we can put it into a function and then call the function with some specific parameters that we'll fill in, right, and uh, execute as many times as we want. So let's um, take this code that's here uh, and let's put it into uh, the CMU sandbox, right? So here is our sandbox. We're going to quickly type in this code. It says we're going to do a bunch of circles, right? So what this code does is it draws three circles, right? So nothing super exciting. Okay, well, let's do it correctly. Bunch of circles, okay? And when we we're creating this function right now with the def command, right? Define, right? And we're going to do an x, a y, and a radius, right? These are circles, and whenever you draw a circle, you need to to uh, do the center of the circle as well as the radius of the circle. So that's what the x and the y are. They are the center. Okay. I'm going to put a colon at the end. Okay. And then when I hit enter again, it tabbed me over. So I'm going to draw three circles. One of them is going to be exactly at x, y. Uh, with radius, whatever we put here, right? So this value right here, you can see there's a square box around this radius, they're connected. Whatever, when I call a bunch of circles, whatever value I pick uh, for this third number is gonna fill in for the radius, okay? So I'm gonna do this three times, okay? There's gonna be a circle at x plus 50, okay? y plus 50, okay? And radius again, right? So again, I'm, I'm using some of the math commands in order to uh, use my function and have it kind of do some different things, right? So I'm going to do x minus 50, and y minus 50, also at radius, okay? So let's run this and see what happens, okay? Exactly nothing, right? And that's because you can see at the bottom it says the function won't do anything until we call it, right? We've defined the function, now we want to call the function. So I'm going to go back out, right? I've, I've indented back to the beginning, right? Because I'm no longer inside of my function. And now I'm going to call a bunch of circles. So let's call a bunch of circles, okay? And I'm going to fill in the three commands. It's, I'm going to want to put it at 90, 40, okay? And we're going to give it a radius of 10. So now when I run it, the 90, the 40, and the 10 are all going to fill in here, here, and here. And everywhere an X was, we're going to put a 90. And everywhere a uh, Y was, we're going to put a 40. And everywhere a radius is, we're going to put 10, right? So you can see that for the second one, it's going to go to 90 plus 50, 140. And 40 plus 50, 90. Right? Oh, I got an error. A uh, bunch of circles is not defined, and that's because I spelled it incorrectly. There you go. Let's try again. Okay. So watch your syntax. Okay. So I'm seeing one, two, and the other one's up higher. So let's make this at like uh, 90, 70, right? So I can see all three of them. There they are. Okay. So it all just did was th drew three circles. Okay. Uh, all of them have a radius of 10. The, the one in the, uh, the, the top is, I'm sorry, right in the middle here is at 90, 70. Those are the numbers that I called. That's the, the first one. And then the other ones are add 50, add 50, and subtract 50, subtract 50, right? So nothing super exciting, but this is a function. I could call a different one, right? So if I copy this, okay, and I paste it, okay, and I just change the numbers, maybe I'll do like 190, 170, and 20, right? I'm going to get a different set of circles, right? And they are following the same, you know, three steps, but I'm just filling in different information. So I'm getting three different circles, right? So a bunch of circles is something that I can use re uh, repeatedly uh, with different parameters, right? So that's all functions are, okay? So what we're going to do with helper functions, okay? Helper functions are functions that we're going to call inside of functions, right? Sometimes we want to take a big problem right? And we want to break it down into smaller parts, right? So instead of having one big function that does everything, maybe I want a bunch of the parts of that function to act independently. So maybe I want to draw three circles and I want to draw three stars, but I don't want to have this huge function that has parameters for both, right? So maybe I'll, I'm going to create a function that does circles and I'll create a, a function that does stars. And then I'll create a function that calls the circle function and the star function, right? So that would make the circle function and the star function helper functions, right? There's this main big function that's job it is to draw all the circles and stars. And within that, we have these two smaller functions that we're gonna call on to do parts of the job, right? So that's all helper functions are. They're just little mini programs that we're gonna call within a function, okay? So we have to be careful with functions, right? When we're doing this, we're going to look at an example, but when we're doing this, okay, functions cannot uh, 
use the parameters of other functions, right? So when I'm calling the big main function, I can't use any of the inputs of the original smaller ones, right? So we have to be careful. If a helper function is going to use inputs, it has to have its own parameters in the main program, right? When we when it's defined, okay? Here's one final, uh, final important note. Okay, we're going to do this for the first time uh, in any of our programs. Uh, now that our programs are getting more complicated, right? Where we have if statements and we have helper functions and all of this kind of stuff that's interacting with each other, it's going to be really important that we comment our code, right? In Python, when we're commenting our code, we use the hashtag symbol, right? The pound symbol, shift three, right? And what that does is it creates uh, a comment. So for example here, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of do both of these together, but let's do the comment part first. I might say, let's do it right here at the beginning, okay? I might say that a bunch of circles, this is going to uh, create three diagonal circles, okay? Uh, with specified location and radius, right? So something like that, right? So this is telling me what is this function going to do, right? And I might come down here and I might say, this is the section uh, that is all of my function calls, right? So you can see now my, my kind of work has all these headings and, and instructions and information, and it makes my code a lot easier, much, uh, much more organized and easier to read, right? So you'll see these functions, or these, uh, come, sorry, these comments showing up all over the place, right? So that being said, let's, let's create, a uh, another function real quick, All right? So let's do this, okay? So we're gonna create uh, a second function, okay? And it's gonna be called bunch of stars, okay? Bunch of stars, Ooh. And it's gonna have an X, a Y, a radius, and points, right? Because this one, uh, when we create stars, we also have to know how many points the star is, right? So I'm just gonna change these, right? So star, okay, for each of these, instead of circle, okay? And we're going to add a fourth parameter called points, okay, for each of them, right? Because they're all going to be the same point star, okay? okay. All right, so now uh, if I call, let's check, but make sure a bunch of stars works. We'll just use this second one, okay? Stars, okay? And it's going to have a fourth criteria, and we're going to make this just a five-point star, okay? So let's make sure this works, okay? There it is. That looks good, right? Uh, it's also drawing the circle, this circle on top, right? But I'm getting three stars, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these function calls. We're going to create a third function. Okay, this is going to be the main function. Okay, so these two right now are helper functions, right? We'd like to create a, a better one. Uh, let's give both these a color too, right? So we're going to call make these ones all red. Fill equals red, okay? Just so we can see the difference between them because they might overlap, okay? So I'm going to do this, okay? Oop, comma. Okay, and I'm going to do this for each of the three circles, okay? Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the stars, but I'm going to make them fill equals blue. Okay. Right, so let's get these added on to the end. Okay. Let's make sure it still works. Okay, so that looks good. All right, so now I have uh, my, my two helper functions. Okay, and so now I'm going to call a main function. I'm going to call this one uh, circles and stars. Okay. And so for this one, here's what I mean when we were talking about, let me go back one, okay? Uh, when we talked about, okay, uh, parameters, functions cannot use parameters of other functions. When I'm creating this main function, I need to include all of the parameters of all of the helper functions, right? So I'm not gonna have a, a fun, like another opportunity to, to ask the user about all of these things that they want to happen. So when I create this, I'm gonna create an X and a Y and a radius because okay, both of them use that. And I'm going to ask about the points for the stars, right? So when I create the circles and stars function, I'm going to ask about four parameters, okay? So here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to call a bunch of circles, okay? And I'm going to ask about x, y, and radius, okay? And I'm going to call a bunch of uh, stars, Okay, and I'm going to give it x, y, radius, and points, okay? I'm actually going to put stars first because if the circle is on top of the star, we won't see the stars, right? So let's put that first. Oop, let's get rid of that. I hit my debugger, okay? There we go, okay? So now I've created a third function, right? I've created the main function, right? The main function is uh, circles and stars, okay? And I'm asking the user, give me a location that will be the center of the circle and the star. Give me the radius of both. Give me how many points the star will be, 
Okay. And then I'm giving that information to the bunch of stars function, right? And that's kind of running this bit of code. Okay. And then I'm giving it to the bunch of circles function and that's running this bit of code, right? So if I, and it's doing that in order, right? So now the only function that I'm going to call is circles and stars. Okay. Oops. Let's do that correctly. Okay. Circles and stars. Okay. And I'm going to give it a location of 200, 200, a radius of 20. And we're going to make the stars, uh, let's say six points, right? See how that looks, right? So now, okay, I'm getting my three circles. Ooh, what happened to my stars? Okay. Bunch of, oh, because I called stars first. I was actually right before. I want the circles to be first, okay? Because I want the circle to be on the bottom. So I want that to be the second one, right? Let's try running that again. There it is, right? So now that's working, okay? So I'm getting three circles and three stars, and I only have to call one command, right? And if I want to change this, I can be like, you know what? I want this to be at 100, 100 instead, right? And it's doing all that work for me. It's creating the three circles. It's creating the three stars. It's lining them up correctly. All of that's happening. And all I'm doing now is calling one command, okay? But the big idea here is we're using helper functions. We took this big problem create three circles, create three stars, have them on top of each other, different colors, that all this stuff, right? And we broke it down into to smaller problems. One is creating the circles. The other one is creating the stars. And those two things are helper functions. And I use those helper functions inside of this main program, right? So this is, um, this is an important concept in programming where we're taking a big problem and we're slowly breaking it down into smaller and smaller parts Right. And, and those smaller and smaller parts are going to be these little mini functions that we're going to use. Right. And um, we'll call them within bigger programs and bigger programs and bigger programs until we get to the main one. Right. So that's that's helper functions. Right. And that's commenting code. Right. The other important part of this. Right. So both of those things are super important as we get to uh, into talking about more comp uh, complex code. Right. Is that we're going to want to break these big problems down into smaller and smaller and smaller functions right, uh, until we get uh, these very simple, easy to use, okay? So if you found this, uh, this video on helper functions and comments useful, uh, please give me a like and a subscribe. Ask any questions you have down in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. If you have a, a question about a specific program on CMU, I'm happy to answer general questions about those. So throw those into the comments, right? Uh, and any feedback you have, I'd love to hear that. All right, so thank you for watching, uh, and I hope to see you in the next video.